All right, welcome to my October 3rd live item shop review video. If you've been following the past few item shops, I've been actually doing live ones on YouTube, but we had a few baseball games this week. So I haven't been able to do some of those. I think tomorrow I can stream, so be on the lookout for that. So I wanted to mention real quick that earlier today I did a review on a brand new microphone by SteelSeries. So I am a SteelSeries partner. And in fact, if you use my code, which is exactly the same as my supporter creator code, TaborTime, you get a whopping 12% off. Now, normally when you get an affiliated code, it barely takes any money off or it doesn't take any money off at all. But with SteelSeries, it does take 12% off, which is a lot. Sometimes it's almost $100 off your total price, which is absolutely insane. It just depends on what you buy. Well, long story short, I did do a full review and unboxing on the brand new microphone. It's called the Alias. If you want to check that out, I will link it. But more importantly, if you use my code on anything on the SteelSeries website, 12% off. So one of the rarest skins in the game has made a return for Dilexa's Locker Bundle, another brand new locker bundle and look what it has, the Reactive Sparkle Skull. So this has not been seen in 786 days. Like I said, one of the rarest skins in the game, at least it was, and it's reactive. So look at the drip that comes from her hearts in her eyes. It's kind of creepy. They get shattered and then she cries. Are you kidding me? Such a weird reactivity, I like it. And then they pick the Glow Wings, Sequined, that's a pretty, Interesting wrap, Bedazzled, the Pickaxis, and the Roman Candle, a 4th of July one from the Kabang set. Look at that, that's a good one. So that's a pretty solid locker bundle. This is one of my favorite ones, for sure. Nice sequence going on here, I like everything. I forgot to mention the Glow Wings as well. So be sure to check if you get a discount. I doubt many people owned Sparkle Skull. But I bet a lot of people have the Roman candle and maybe one of these two right here. So I just went through most of my friends and I can't find anyone that owns everything except for the skin. So not a very good one when it comes to discounts, but as for rarity and combo factors, I think this is a pretty solid locker bundle. So then we got the featured tab. Now yesterday, this said Fort Nightmares. There was a Fort Nightmares tab and a featured tab. This to me looks like it should say Fort Nightmares because all this stuff is Halloween related, but it says featured now, so I don't know. So we got Ion. Remember her? Creepy, almost werewolf. And the back bling is interactable with the pickaxes. That's always a plus. And then we got the blood moon rising. So this is a werewolf theme. I love this back bling. Really, really cool. Animated. It does a blood moon in full. And then it goes to the half moon. Graven bundle. Uh, I don't know. Graven's not the best skin, mostly because of the plumed helmet he has. But you can take it off. And then he looks pretty cool, although he still has feathers galore. I do enjoy his armor. I'm just not a big fan of wings. And look at this. The total package here is just so, I don't know, protrudy? Is that a word? Lots of things sticking out all over the place. It's just a lot. I do like the front and the eyes, of course. And the glider's okay. Cursed Crescent is pretty sweet, though. That's a nicely animated pickaxe. And we got the OG Lucian West bundle making a return. Of course, you can also buy a Lucian West in the high stakes bundle. Pretty cool there. Panda Team Leader used to be one of the worst skins in the game for 2,000 V-Bucks, but they added a Sid style, improving it drastically. Although I still think it's quite overpriced at 2,000. Memento Mori bundles back. She's a pretty good skin. Plume Talon and Silver Dirge, not too shabby. Diamond Hans or Hands or Stonks or the April Fool skin and Raptorian the Brave. So let's see if they made this backling reactive yet. It is reactive, secretly. It makes a noise when you get in the limb. Raptorian the Brave is only 1,200, one of my favorite 1,200 skins in the game. Love the color scheme, love the theme, medieval, love the armor, a really great skin. And what the heck happened to the shop here? Why is there a big gap? That's kind of strange. Well, Plunges here and Starlet, this is that new emote that came out the other day. Infinite Dab, seen that time and time again, Last Forever is synced, unfortunately copyrighted as well. Then the five free items still here, Celebrating Women, plus the Everyday Magic Bundle, Star Skirmish Bundle. So pretty much all the Celebrating Women tabs are still here. Ah, here's the Fort Nightmares tab. What the? Why'd they move it all the way down here and not include the things up top? You kidding me? Then we got Triarch Aurora's Level Up Quest Pack. Hopefully everyone can see it now. You should be able to purchase it. Crypt Crashers is still here. Then lastly, the Mainframe Throwback Quest Pack. I gotta buy that. Hopefully I remember to do that later tonight. There you go. 
one of the rare skins in the game, Sparkle Skull, has returned. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabertime.